try to uh, not repeat stories when I'm uh, doing these things, but this one I enjoy so much, um, I, I have to share it with you. Again, well, you for the first time. With Jordan is the only person that will be sharing it with again. But, uh, I spend a lot of time out on the road, and uh, you miss so many little things. I, I, my youngest son was six weeks old, and I left to go on tour for nine weeks, and um, it was difficult, especially when you're leaving a wife at home with not only a, nine, a six week old, but a, a four year old, too. So, uh, are in trouble constantly and, 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 and understandably so. But uh, we, so I, was, I was as lonely as I've probably ever been and I wrote this in a hotel room in Kansas City one night. But um, that's not the good part of the story. The story is uh, you miss these little moments when you're at home. And last week my kids had found, uh, we'd set up all of our Christmas decorations. And, uh, my kids had gone and um, when they were in the attic, found an old um, box of Christmas brownies that were, uh, it's a mix, not like made brownies. <laughs> mix, and it's, just, it's got icing packets and these things that you can cut out and make them look like presents and all of this, and so a five-year-old and a two-year-old think it's the coolest thing in the world. So they bring it down and convince my wife that they're going to bake them. She tries to tell them that they're not going to taste very good because they're two years old and they've been at it. But being that they're my children and they're stubborn and hard-headed, they did it anyway. And, and they baked them, and then they ate them, and they were terrible, so my, they, they threw them all away. Except for my determined two-year-old. He took the brownie, and he said, I eat it, I eat it. And he walked around the house, and he, he nibbled, and ate, and ate, and they played. And about uh, 10 or 15 minutes later, he came back in, and he said, uh, Mommy, you eat. <laughs> Chocolate all over his hand, where it had melted. She, being a doting mother, leaned down to it take uh, a bite of the chocolate off of his hand and as it smeared on the side of her face she realized that uh, as we're potty training him he had checked his hand. <laughs> my youngest son had literally shit on my wife's face. <laughs> It doesn't matter how good I am on the road. It doesn't matter how soon I'm coming home. It doesn't matter when your wife has gotten her face shit on. Right there. And there's a part of me that, that you, you, you smile, one, because your wife got her face shit on. But you also smile just because it's one of those things that's a... You hate to miss those moments because that will haunt him for the rest of his life. It is my... Solemn vow that, that will haunt him for the rest of his life. What would Jesus say? Probably say, wipe that shit off your face. <laughs> he had turned it into brownie. <laughs> brownie enough for all of us, too. <laughs> That's in my son, the book of George, I think it's chapter 4, verse 2, where he turned one turd into brownies. <laughs> you can look it up, it's on the internet. <laughs> www.mykidsbible.com The book of George, it's short, this is cool. So I, 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 I say all that just to say that I miss home and uh, kind of wrote this as a, an ode to my uh, my wife and kids. It's going to be on the new album. It's, uh, I don't know what the title's going to be yet, but this is how the song goes. If tomorrow I could just wake up beside you See the morning sunlight spill across your face Through the window it looks out on our front porch Where I can hear the bare feet of our children play Well that might be a place I'd like to stay If I could buy a boat I'd cross an ocean But I ain't got enough to buy a clue I'll lie here on the floor 
have myself a couple more I wonder how I'll make it back to you and The truth is love, that's all I ever do Oh, but I'll paint on a smile And I'll pretend that it's alright And i live more Underneath this damn spotlight Tell myself This time around I'll get it right That's a lie That I tell myself to just get by I know you've got boys sleeping there beside you Both with curly hair and not so blue I know it's hard after a while I miss every smile Finally I realize the truth You're the only good thing I ever did to you Oh, but I'll paint on a smile And I'll pretend that it's alright And I'll live more Underneath this damn spotlight I tell myself This time around I'll get it right But that's a lie Tell myself to just get by Oh, but I'll paint on a smile And I'll pretend that it's alright And a little more Underneath this damn spotlight Tell myself This time around I'll get it right But that's a lie And I tell myself to just get by